Hi, this is Shay Jackson with Hype Math. In today's third grade video, we will be reviewing the math concept fractions. We will be going over fraction basics. Let's get started. Remember, third graders, every day may not be good, but there is something good in every day. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click that notification bell so that you will be alerted when we upload new videos. We are excited to announce that we will be launching the Hype Math and Reading Club Box and this month there will be more details coming soon. We will be using the third grade math review workbook for the information and questions in this video. It is available for purchase in our store. The link will be in the description box. Go ahead and click it and grab yours today. We also have a third grade, third grade reading review workbook as well and that is also available for purchase in our store. The link will be in the description box. Now let's go over fractions. What is a fraction? A fraction is a number that names part of a whole. To write a fraction, each part of the whole must be the same size and that is very important. So let's look at some examples of what would be or what would not be a good example of a fraction equal parts so we have a rectangle and there are four parts four equal parts there is one part that is shaded so my fraction is the part that is shaded is in the numerator the top number and the total amount of parts which is four is in the denominator so our fraction for the number of parts shaded is one fourth let's look at another example we have a circle and if you notice the circle is divided into three equal parts we are looking for how many parts are shaded we see that there are two parts shaded so we put two in our numerator for the number of parts shaded and in our denominator are the total amount of parts which is three our fraction is two-thirds for the shaded parts. Let's look at some examples of unequal parts. And here is one. It is a rectangle, and yes, it is divided into four parts. However, they are four unequal parts, so we cannot write a fraction using this rectangle. Let's look at another example. We see a circle and it is divided into three parts, but again, the parts are unequal, so we cannot write a fraction, okay? Now, let's look at some problems to help us with fractions. This is problem number 13 in the third grade math review workbook. And again, the description, the link will be in the description box so that you can purchase one. The picture represents the trophies three brothers have on a shelf. Each brother won the same amount of trophies or same number of trophies. What fraction of the trophies did each brother win? A, two thirds, B, two sixths, C, three sixths, and D, three thirds. And looking at the number of trophies, we see that there are a total of six. What are we looking for? We are looking for the fraction of trophies that each brother won. What information can help us find the answer? The information we need is that there are three brothers and they equally, they have the same number of trophies and there are six total trophies. How do we solve the problem? 
In order for us to solve this problem, we must divide the trophies evenly between the brothers. And if you look at the picture, we have divided the trophies evenly for, between brother one, brother two, and brother three. Based on this information, what is the correct answer? And let's just do a review of our fractions. Remember, the denominator is the total number of items or objects, okay? So we know that there are six total trophies. So our denominator, our answer must have a six in the denominator. Also, we are looking to find how many trophies each brother have. And when we count them, look and see how many trophies each brother has. Based on that information, what is the correct answer? If you said B26, you are absolutely correct. Each brother received two trophies. That's our numerator and our denominator is six because there are a total of six trophies. Let's move on to number 14. Lonnie opened a new box of granola bars. Lonnie and three of his friends equally shared the, grano the granola bars shown in the picture. What fraction of the granola bars did each of them get? F, three eighths, G, two eighths, H, one eighth, J, four eighths. And looking at the granola bars, we see that there are a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are a total of eight granola bars. What are we looking for? We are looking for the fraction of granola bars Lonnie and his friends will get. What information can help us find the answer? We know that there are four people because remember it's Lonnie and his three friends. So that's a total of four people. And there are eight granola bars. How do we solve the problem? In order to solve this problem, we need to divide the number of granola bars, eight, evenly between the four friends. So we have eight granola bars divided by four friends is equal to two granola bars each, okay? What is the correct answer? So we know how many granola bars each friend will get. That will be in the numerator. And our denominator will be the total amount of granola bars. What would you say is the correct answer? If you said G, you are absolutely correct. Two eighths. Each friend will, the fraction of the granola bars each friend and Lonnie will get is two eighths. Let's move to problem number 15. Anissa shaded part of the figure shown below. What fraction of this figure is shaded? A, six eighths, B, one sixth, C, two eighths, D two sixth. What are we looking for? We are looking for the fraction of the figure that is shaded. What information can help us find the answer? The information that can help us find the answer is number one, we need to count the number of parts in the figure and it's divided out. And when we count it, we see that there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
eight total parts of the figure. And now we need to count the number of parts that are shaded. There are one, two, three, four, five, six. There are six parts that are shaded. How do we solve the problem? In order for us to solve the problem, we have to remember that it's the number of parts shaded over the total number of parts. We said there are six parts that are shaded, that is our numerator, and our denominator is the total number of parts shaded, which is eight. Based on that information, what is the correct answer? And let's look one more time so that it can help us find the correct answer. If you said A, six eighths, you are absolutely correct. Our fraction of the figure that is shaded is six because there are six parts shaded and there are eight total parts. So A, six eighths is the correct answer. And that is it for our fractions, review of fraction basics. Again, we have the third grade math review and reading review workbook available for purchase in our store. The links will be in the description box. This has been Shay Jackson with Hype Math. I will talk to you soon.